in your life, have you put on the shoes of the gospel that will help you stand firm in your faith? Have you put them on? And maybe a better question is, have you stumbled? Maybe you've put them on and maybe you've stumbled along the way. Or you've lost your step or lost your footing. And even a little bit, because sometimes it's easy just to get off to the edge. This is where we talk so often here about not straddling the fence with one foot in God's kingdom and one foot in the kingdom of darkness. Sometimes we get just off a little bit, but it's off the edge. It's like quicksand. It seems stable at the time, but if we keep going, we just it's easy to sink. And it's sort of like that frog in the pot thing where they don't realize that they're about to be boiled because it comes up temperature-wise just so slowly. And it's easy to allow that stuff to creep in. And many have allowed it to. And again, it's easy. It's part of our lives that we have to be careful of, but we just can't go there. We can't allow that in our lives. And so in Titus chapter 3, verse 1... Paul uses a really interesting term, and he uses this term in order to encourage the believers that are there. But the Greek word there is heitoimasia. Heitoimasia means prepare. Be prepared. Put on the armor. Be ready. Now in Titus chapter 3 verse 1, the context of what Paul is saying is very specific, which is be ready, heitoimasia, be ready to do good. And this is important for us to see that part of our calling as Christians, if you are one, is to do good and to be ready for it rather than go, oh, I didn't know I had an opportunity to do good. Instead, to be ready to do good. This is partly why we see Paul saying things like, be prepared to give a reason for the hope that's within you. To be hetomazia, be prepared, be ready to give a reason, an answer. To people who want to know why you have hope. One of my dilemmas always, and one of the things you hear from me I know a lot, is that so often I think Christians live a life where they're not full of hope. And if the Christians don't have hope, who in the world's ever going to ask to be a Christian? 